We begin with the Commander-in-Chief pleading to the AFP and Philippine Navy earlier today to keep ramping up efforts without let-up to reinforce the status of our naval defenses and capabilities in the high seas in line with protecting the nation's maritime territories and sovereign rights. Our Alan Francisco has more on an impassioned president waxing eloquent in his speech on the occasion of the 67th founding of the Naval Special Forces Command in Sangley Point, Cavite. As we move now from focusing on ensuring internal security for the country, we now have to bolster the country's external defenses. And I exhort the DND and the AFP to maximize and strategically review the deployment of our forces to ensure that their strategies remain responsive to the current and future geopolitical realities. The motivation and encouragement of President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. to the Department of National Defense and the Armed Forces of the Philippines to review and maximize deployment for current and future geopolitical challenges. The President made this statement during the 67th founding anniversary celebration of the Naval Special Operations Command or NAVSUCOM at Sangli Point in Cavite. NAVSUCOM is an elite unit of the Philippine Navy. Let us also continue harnessing the skills of our specialized units in preparing for all contingencies. With the NAVSOCOM, with its expertise in sea, air, and land, or SEAL operations, must be utilized to support naval defense and enhance maritime security. President Marcos also encouraged the Navy to continue strengthening its capabilities. He also assured that the government supports programs that will enhance the capacity of NABSUCOM and the welfare of their families. We will likewise support, in, support you in implementing programs to enhance your knowledge and skill as well as ensure your welfare and, equally important, your family's well-being. Together, let us bring stability, peace and prosperity in our lands and in our seas all the while standing as a wellspring of hope to our present and our next generations. President Marcos also commended NABSECOM for conducting extensive counterterrorism training and operations against terrorist groups and other lawless elements to include rescue missions and efforts to combat smuggling and other illegal activities at sea. More impressive still, through it all, you have embodied grit, fortitude and courage in ensuring peace, order, and progress in the country. For your commitment to serve and to safeguard the Filipino people, I express my deep and heartfelt gratitude. The chief executive also paid recognition to the NABSICOM awardees for their exceptional dedication and service to the country. Malaki po ang papel na ginagampanan ng inyong institusyon sa pagsulong ng isang bagong Pilipinas sa ating panahong ngayon. Inaasahan ko ang inyong patuloy na pakikilahok at suporta sa adikaing ito. Muli, binabati ko ang NAVSOCOM sa pagdiriwang ng inyong ikaanim na, ikaanim na putpitong anibersaryo. Alan Francisco, For the Nation, Sangli Point, Cavite.